Let's go. What's that about? Yeah, well, what's interesting is that we're talking uh, about the Gulf oil spill. We've been covering it so closely. And one of the uh, companies that's popped up in this is sort of a sidebar. Uh, it's, it's a nonprofit called Matter of Trust. And they've been collecting hair uh, all around the country and trying to ship it to Louisiana because, um, you know, hair obviously soaks up oily substances. Uh, and it, it, it sort of, it, it's not going to solve this problem, but it's a nonprofit that's trying to help. So we went to a hair salon uh, here in San Francisco. You can see I even got my hair cut. Uh, uh, just I for noticed that. I was just saying, uh, you look like your hair's a little shorter. It, it looks all right. And, you know, they, they're collecting this, uh, and they collect your hair once it hits the ground, uh, send it out there to try to mop up some of the hair. And so I wanted to show you what happened because we had a little surprise for you. So, Bradley, how did you get involved in sending hair off to Louisiana? Uh, well, we heard, we heard the radio um, asking for people to help out through this uh, matter of um, trust.org. So they, um, we just thought, what a great idea. We have all this hair. So when you cut the hair, you own the hair once it hits the floor, or is there any custodial issue? No, not at all. I th think uh, everyone's happy to get rid of it. You know, it's, so you it's our it, hair you now. It's it. my hair now once I cut it. Right. And how successful has it been? Um, it's been really successful. I mean, we've sent 13 pounds um, in, a, in a week and a half, so um, it's been great. And people are very excited about it. Well, I'm glad that I'm giving because there are some people at CNN who just don't have anything to give. <laughs> Uh, well, that, it, the, the salon is Sweet Five in San Francisco. They were kind enough to let us out. And that T-shirt, which I have, yeah. uh, is from our weekend. Yeah. And uh, it's I a nice you, picture of you, I told you, you maybe in Atlantic way. City, and you did. Yeah, and, and uh, you know, we went there. We were celebrating your new show, a lot of your friends getting together. Uh, you recently married, uh, a lot of your friends coming together. It was a big weekend. But I thought it was interesting that you ended up not being the headliner. It was one of our colleagues who... I should probably, um, you know, uh, not uh, get into too much detail so I don't get him into trouble. Well, let's just call him uh, Darius, just as, yeah. just as, a, as a name, if I just picked yeah. out of thin air. He, he did pretty well in Atlantic City. And I think uh, some of my friends back uh, at the Treasury Department in Washington may want to be uh, talking to him. May want to be talking. He, he did quite nicely at the, ta at the, uh, at the slot he machines. Did well. We had a nice week. It was nice to see you in, in person. <laughs> we don't get to see, you know, you and Christine and so many of them and Richard, some of my friends I don't get to see in person as often. We, we spent a lovely, uh, lovely time there. It was good to see you. It was good to see you. And nice to, nice to see you in San Francisco. Have a good time there. The haircut looks very nice, and you're right. I wish I could contribute something to that. Is this hair actually going to be used, by the way, to, it, like, it sops up oil? Yeah. What they do is they basically, uh, and I think it's the Haynes Company that, that's donated uh, nylons, ladies' nylons. They take the hair, they stuff them in there, uh, and, and they use them to try to soak up some of the oil. And again, this is not going to solve the problem, obviously, but you have people around the country trying to do every little bit to say, let's try uh, and at least sure. mitigate the damage to the environment. And so you've got people uh, uh, contributing. Yeah. I know you can't contribute to this, but you can probably contribute. We, we, we know they've tried much more scientific things that haven't worked so far, so hopefully this will help yeah, mitigate some of it. Ed, good to see you. We'll talk to you again tomorrow. Ed Henry, the Ed Henry segment.